Hello everybody! This video will be some remake video on my old uh, videos uh, with a name how to make conductive ink easy and cheap. So in basic why I doing this remake on my old video is because this video how to make conductive ink easy and cheap was my earliest video on YouTube and in the time uh, my English was not really good and I was a little bit shy to talk. Uh, but today in this video I will make some remake on how to make conductive ink easy and cheap. So I already have some samples which are here. Uh, I will show you the conductivity. And I get around 8 ohms per centimeter, which is not bad. Also, this ink, if you want, you can rub with a teaspoon, but you will not get a really big improvement. You will improve uh, the conductivity with this one uh, for only a couple of uh, percent. But if you want, you can do this way. And yeah, you see 7.3 ohms per centimeter. And the square resistance Oops. is 10 ohms. So this ink is really good, but not the best, because this ink is waterproof, uh, but not flexible. So you see, if you bend this ink, the ink will crack. If you use this ink in some not flexible applications, uh, this ink will be really, really good. But if you use this in flexible applications, you will get some cracking. This is the only problem with this ink. I mean, this ink has really good conductivity, it's water resistant, uh, but it's not flexible. So, and now, how to make this ink? First of all, you need some uh, conductive material. In my case, I use natural graphite, which is ultra fine. Uh, I buy this on eBay. Uh, the price was, I don't know, eight to nine euros for a uh, thousand milliliters, like this. But you can also use some different uh, graphite if you want. Uh, or you can experiment with uh, carbon blacks. But in my case the graphite is just fine to make this ink. And also the second material which you will use, I mean which you, you will need, is this. This is in basic uh, some uh, water glass uh, or sodium silicate and this one you will uh, find in some local store uh, I buy this uh, the price was around 3 euros and this, this one is really cheap but why is this really good because you have two components in one. 
because if you make some conductive ink, you need some uh, conductive material, a binder and also some solvent. But in this case, you need only these two. And now I will try to make one. So the amount, in basic, you can experiment with the amount. Uh, you can experiment with with the amount. I will just add something. This will be enough. So with this one, you need to experiment. More you add, more uh, liquid will be, but also less conductive. So you need to get some really good balance. Uh, basic, I don't measure, I just put I don't know, this is 20 milliliters, something like this. And now the conductive material, which is in my case, uh, natural graphite. And I will add seven to eight grams of the graphite. Four grams, 6.8. Eight grams. And now you need to mix this mix. Like I said, this ink is really really easy to make and also is really cheap. Three euros for this one, which is sodium silicate and uh, eight to nine euros for this graphite and you get really good conductive ink which is which have very really good uh, conductivity and also is waterproof But like I said, you need to experiment with the amounts. And now I get something like this. It's a little bit more gelish like. If you don't want like this, you just add a little bit more of uh, water glass. And that's it. For better conductivity, you apply two coatings and you will get uh, the, conduct the conductivity around uh, 10 ohms. So guys, I will also show you uh, how water resistant is this one. So we get a little bit from the surface, but oh, 
I penetrate the paper. Now it's 30 minutes uh, away. The ink is almost dry, it's not completely dry. So in this case, uh, the drying time will be, I don't know, something between one hour to two hours. But I will test the conductivity anyway. Eighteen ohms per one centimeter, which is really really nice. But like I said, uh, the ink is not completely dry, and I also I make two coatings. And it's already 20, 90 ohms. Really awesome. But this one need to be to dry finish. So guys, that's it for now. And we see us in the next video. Bye.